Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Arc here on Aberration. Oh my god, we're finally here. Um, I know a lot of people have been really excited for the Aberration part of the series, and I've been pretty excited too. I like Scorched, but I kind of got a little bit fed up of it halfway through, and I just wanted to leave. So, yeah, we're here on Aberration. We got so many things to do because we need to actually progress a lot quicker in this part of the series because we're going to have to spend a lot of time up on the surface getting drops and stuff like that i'm gonna have to look for reapers uh just so many things my plans for rockwell are fairly standard it's nothing crazy i want maybe a little army of megalosaurs i think and then for obviously i'm gonna be riding on a rock drake i'm gonna need a really good shotgun for that and then obviously for um just in general i'm gonna need some like reapers to bring from this map over to extinction because i feel like reapers would be fantastic against those orbital supply drops so lots of things to do guys if you are excited for ultimate arc on aberration go ahead and slap a like on this video because i'm super excited let's get going though uh what is it like for a 114 survivor over here on aberration to start well it's pretty standard uh you gotta collect berries and thatch and all this stuff if you guys remembered the first episode on scorched it was kind of scuffed a little bit i mean we, we come over here with absolutely nothing we really do like we don't have anything at all and we gotta just find our way and we gotta redo all of like the tiers of like tools and everything well i guess not all of them because this is only two but you know what i mean it's gonna be kind of crazy but um yeah we, we just gotta find a tree to punch at this point uh i'm probably gonna die tons of times in this video i would say because aberration's a little bit more um i would say aggressive than scorched scorched is pretty aggressive but aberration has ravagers and that means just death and pain and and i'm gonna poop myself or something i don't know let's see let's punch this tree get ourselves some thatch and whatever else would uh unfortunately i forgot to take away that setting that only gives like six or whatever per hit or something i don't know what it is i know what setting to turn off but i forgot to turn it off for this one. <laughs> oh, hello carno i just spotted you we finally got some wood let's get out of here that carno is gonna come for me i think uh i think he is <laughs> no he's leaving us alone uh, i don't think we can get up there let's run around the other side so um some things that we could do super early on is potentially but well, we can definitely get ourselves a shoulder pet which we're gonna need so maybe let's look for a bulb dog but I also at the same time want to maybe look for some beehives and then potentially get ourselves a roll rat uh, very soon so yeah that would be actually really awesome uh, we gotta get some stones so there's some over here I did spawn at a uh, fert fertile lake like one or something I think um that's where we spawned so if you guys are looking to kind of play alongside me or whatever uh why do we have two torches that is weird we have two of everything no we don't we just have two torches for some reason I don't know that's odd uh alrighty let's get ourselves sorted with some stuff oh by the way in case you're wondering why there's a cliff platform in my hotbar uh as you guys know we do bring creatures from uh the previous maps we're bringing them to extinction but the way to do that because I don't have the extinction server made is bring them along with me so on scorched we had them sitting at the top of a mountaintop on here I have them on a cliff platform on that thing right ahead of us there in the center of the lake so we're not going to touch them at all obviously like those creatures are for extinction not here that is a tech raptor hopefully that thing dies oh yeah it did sweet all right let's get ourselves a hatchet we need to hit a rock first and there's some up here that means that we can harvest him and actually get some metal off of him potentially get enough for a smithy we'll see uh all right so we have enough for hatchet and uh, let's get some spears going i'm gonna need some hide as well unfortunately the tech raptor doesn't give that we could also get a bow actually yeah let's get ourselves a bow so oh they don't automatically go into your hot bar this is an sotf <laughs> all right come on there we go oh man all right let's hit this thing sweet so i'm pretty worried for rockwell like oh they ate him no oh you stu mm, okay that was dumb i guess they were over there but i just i didn't cop that they would actually run over and eat him damn it but yeah anyway i was gonna say i'm pretty worried for rockwell i mean like we fought Rockwell a couple times solo on the cluster recently, and that was pretty difficult, not gonna lie. I actually struggled a lot, even with the gamma, and like especially with the beta. I'm gonna be super worried about the alpha. Um, 
so hopefully we can uh, we can get a really good rock drake. I think we're probably gonna go ahead and just try to get as many as we can, and then eventually pick the best one. Uh, oh, hey, there's a tech power store over there. That's good. And there's a dead uh, life store right here for some hide. That is my hatchet. Why did I not get any hide? That's that stupid setting, isn't it? I feel like it might be. Okay, right, let's go ahead and do this. Um, what was over here that I was looking at? I was looking at something. Oh, it was an Equus. Where is he gone? There he is. Let's just see how many berries it would take to tame him, because we could do that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, hello. What is this? This is a dead moss chop. Sweet. All right, give me some hide. Yes. But yeah, so uh, fighting Rockwell is going to be really difficult. We're going to have to just get tons of rock drakes. I'm going to ride on one of those around the arena. Um, we're probably just going to get one for just stamina, just so I don't actually, like... <laughs> I don't die or whatever. Maybe just stamina and health onto one of them completely. And we'll see how that goes. Let's see. What do you have? What is that? Okay, it's just a roll rat. I thought that thing was like... I thought it was something coming for me. How many... Oh, I don't want to sit around for 10 hours. Screw that. No way. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Alrighty, so let's uh let's go over here instead. Let's maybe take on that tech parasaur and get some metal. So, uh... Yeah, rock drakes, we're going to need to get a ton of them. Definitely want some reapers. Probably not going to need them for the Rockwell arena. I think megalosaurs would just do fine. Uh, I'm obviously going to need to mutate them a little bit, so that's something that we have to work on. Uh, we could maybe make a bola and get him, and then that would be more hide. All right. Or I guess we can knock him out. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it. I'd rather just run around than run around on a parasaur. Sorry, parasaurs, but I'm not a big fan. I'm really not. You are a 135, though, so let's go ahead and hopefully kill you. We'll see. I don't know if we can actually kill this thing. Maybe I should have made a bow first. Come on. Is he dying? I can't see much blood. Oh, I see a little bit on his leg there. Come on. Oh, this bowl is going to run out. Yep. Yeah. Bowl is totally gonna run out. How come this spear hasn't broken? I didn't want it to break, but at the same time, it's like, okay, how am I still using this? Alrighty. Oh, earthquake, sweet. I'm actually gonna run around and grab some materials from this. Oh, that's weird. On our cluster series, the materials falling from the earthquake come in boxes, but on here, they're coming in actual like form of whatever they are. That is so strange. I don't even understand what setting I have on the cluster that's making that happen. We got to look for just regular boxes around here, though, because if we can find those, then there's definitely going to be an item in it. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the aqua mushrooms? These ones are good for water. Go ahead and just eat all of these. I'll just grab all of these items here. Can't hurt. Uh, just got to look for normal boxes, though. If we see one, that is priority. We also gotta watch out for the roll rat gems. Okay. So earthquakes are the uh, the little weather event that you get over here. Obviously on the island, you get like a bunch of different ones, kind of like basic ones though. And then on Scorch, you get more aggressive uh, events. Oh, what, which one is it gonna take to feed you? I think it's actually the aqua mushrooms, but we could also use a plant species Z seed as well. Let's get some aqua mushrooms. Oh, you get them from the actual mushrooms. Yeah. Got to be intelligent to get it. Oh, okay. No, that I thought that was a box. Never mind. All right. Oh, you know what? Let me actually see if I can grab some crystal anywhere. No, I didn't see any. Damn. All right. Uh, so then obviously over on Scorch, we have a bunch of different weather effects. Uh, we have... Oh, hello, bear. We're, we're good, right? You're not going to attack me? I think we're good. Let's just keep an eye on them, though. <laughs> oh, let's get around this thing, just in case. So, yeah, Scorch is pretty pretty bad in terms of the weather events. I don't like that stuff, and it was really annoying because a sandstorm would happen, and then I wouldn't be able to record. Or I'd be recording, and then a sandstorm would happen, and then i just have to stop. It just kind of gets a little bit repetitive and annoying after a while. Unfortunately, earthquakes are also slightly annoying after a while, but we can deal with them. We can definitely deal with them. Uh, I'm going to go for the level 55. He's going to be slightly better, just not amazing, obviously. So he's going to take five feeds. Ooh, wrong button. Thinking of hitting tab to open up my inventory. That's not how it works. 
Oh, I did get some crystal. Okay, that's good. So that means that we can make a spyglass. I don't know what these mushrooms do. I can't remember what all of them do. Uh, yeah, this one gives you protection, I think, from uh, the regular, like, red mushroom spores, I do believe. I think, at least. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and kill this power spore then. Let's make ourselves another spear. Make two more spears, actually. You know what? Can we make that bow? There we go. Make a bow and then just a bunch of arrows. You can only make that amount. All right, cool. Um, so I will go ahead and bowl him and then I will just shoot him down with the bow. We're going to have to wait a second, though. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and just try to tame up this bulb dog. Are you hungry again? Yes, you are. Perfect. Okay, we should call the bulb dog Axeman. He uses that like mask as his like little character thing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, alrighty, Parasaur. Get headshotted, buddy. You are gonna be some metal for me. I like getting free metal. The tech creatures just make the game so much easier. They really do. You don't even have to wander out and get metal. You can just find some on the beach. Great, we didn't even get any from that, but we did get electronics, so I'm not gonna complain. There is metal nearby though if we run down that way although now i see the ravagers i don't know how long they've been there but they're there now and we gotta watch out for them oh man ravagers suck uh let's see we can maybe work on getting a mortar because that would mean i can make some narcotics let's make ourselves a spyglass because we have the uh crystal for that and oh yeah it's already in my slot i guess it's because i never actually got rid of what was in the uh item slots when we came here like I, I threw all the items on the ground kept the skins though so we have some skins up in a box over there that i'll grab eventually but um yeah i didn't like click away to get rid of these let's see when you're gonna need another feed buddy any second now hey there we go all right i don't know what to call you um bulbasaur bulbasaur sweet all right, Bulbasaur, let's go. Let's go fight the first gym. It's Ravagers over here. You go first. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh, you know what? We never even made our tribe. Ascension of the Mimus. Nice. That is our tribe name. And that has been our tribe name on here. Uh, we've got a dead something here. What is this? Oh, it's a dead Ravager. I didn't even see this happen. All right. Ooh. Hello. Don't walk too close to me. I don't want to hit you. Hello, little moss ch or not moss chops. You're a lystro. What is wrong with me? I don't have anything good for him. All right, whatever. Let's see. I'm going to collect a few green gems and then we're going to work our way down to some metal. Oh, man. All right. Let's just get a little bit. With this, I can make glow sticks and other stuff. So might as well. And a little bit of crystal can hurt. There we go. Yeah, I got to take away that stupid setting that I have on. Oh, man. All right. I'll do that after this video for sure. Okay. So let's head down this way and just try to avoid these Ravagers if we can, because we don't want Bulbasaur to die. Uh, I don't know where the Ravagers went. I feel like they all ran down and maybe got killed by that bear. I see another tech Parasaur. Yeah, it is. Totally another tech Parasaur. Are we good? Don't know if we are. Oh, wrong one. Here, let me see. I thought that was set to hide hat. There we go. Cool. Oh, I really want those red gems. No, we won't do it. I really want it, but the roll rat's just going to attack me if I take them. Probably didn't even need to bolo this one because he's only a level 18, but whatever. Oh, sorry. You're afraid? I don't care. You're mine now. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Scrap metal. So use a pick for that, obviously. I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's work on some more arrows. That's kind of important. Uh, let's run over here then to do that. Oh, we got an Ovis. Perfect. Get ourselves some uh, mutton and make ourselves some lamb chops. Although, is it really worth doing that at this stage? Probably not. Because the mutton's probably all going to spoil before I can cook it. Alrighty. So... Yeah, we got to get to some metal for sure. Maybe try to make or get some stuff for a forge on the way. That could be good. Let's see. Come on. 
a little bit more flint maybe there we go all right let's make some arrows now bam all right that's a good amount uh so what do we need for a forge we're gonna need a mortar at some point but we'll work on the forge first uh where is the forge i passed it no it's further down here isn't it i think it is there it is all right go ahead and put that there so we can tell when we have enough we could probably get the rest from this rock actually go ahead and just do this gives us 18 every so often or maybe not we got 12 that time and we got 18 again all right it alternates for some reason i don't know why okay let's get a little bit more right, i'm good now we have our forge we can place that down on the ground because i put on that s plus setting that allows us to do that and we got to get to the metal first though which is like a little bit further ahead and i see those ravagers hmm we're gonna need to get those guys away from there oh they're going for what is that a parasaur we might be able to get around i'm gonna try it i mean if if we die bulb dog's dead so i'm definitely risking something here bulb dog is kind of the mascot of the series already it's not that's not even his name bulbasaur i was calling him bulb dog what is wrong with me all right i think we're good maybe oh that's a tech raptor as well i really want that all right if they chase me i'll just throw the bulb dog a worthy sacrifice for the greater good all right so the metal is just around this corner i remember that from our very first time playing aberration believe it or not yeah it's like definitely over here because we had a hard time actually finding metal in this area and then we found it and it was like oh great perfect and then we just like farmed the crap out of that area there's a lot of red mushrooms there those will make me a little bit high so i don't want that right now but maybe later we'll see uh okay metal i believe it's just around here right we also got some crystal too there we go that's our metal node all right so we're gonna place this down here and drop in all of the wood that we have which is just one <laughs> let's go ahead and just harvest up a little bit of metal get it cooking and then we'll go ahead and chuck it into the forge oh my god give me some metal thank you i need a little bit more than that though oh i can hear it ah supercarno don't attack my forge what is wrong with you is he attacking my forge no, i don't think he is all right oh i do have 12 metal that will give me six and that is actually exactly enough okay cool so i don't want to hit that thing anymore oh you know what i probably had fungal wood oh i did i think oh wait no i don't think we did we just got 36. okay what do i need thatch do you not give any thatch at all give me rare mushrooms there we go a little bit of the thatch and are we good where did that carno go there he is over there okay let's see bam Oop. bam and then the metal and now we want a smithy smithy we want the s plus one so we're gonna need five ingots and then 30 wood so we'll just take some wood back out of here for the moment take a little bit extra just to craft some stuff all right that is our smithy we'll just set up like a little base camp here for the moment and then we'll see how it goes we're actually getting a much better start here than we did on scorched i believe that we died like tons of times at the very start on scorched oh i forgot i also had this metal completely forgot about that and that transfers and smelts as like one to one so one piece of this equals one ingot as opposed to two pieces of metal equaling one ingot so yeah maybe i shouldn't have actually maybe i shouldn't have hit the metal node at all oops uh let's go ahead and just drop some of this crap in here keep it safe you know what i'll just drop pretty much all of this in here um all righty so we're gonna need a pick Ooh, that was a weird sound glitch pick and then a hatchet as well we're gonna just drop these i need that and then oh what is that what's that noise was that a pego oh no it's a dodo okay you all kind of framey actually oh yeah i'm not getting great frames hmm 
it's kind of felt framey for this whole video so far so i'm sorry uh i might need to maybe close some programs maybe that's kind of affecting it all right well hopefully that's not gonna be too much of an issue get some more hide Alrighty, usually I get like, I mean, I guess on Aberration, don't you get like lower frames in general? Hmm, I don't think I get that bad of frames. I definitely get much higher than that. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just deal with it for the moment. Let's go ahead and just grab some more metal though. Oh yeah, that's a good amount. And we got another little node right there. And then that should be enough, hopefully, I would say, to maybe make a glide suit because what we can do is instead of going down to the blue region to get stuff for a glide suit we could actually just grab it around here off of roll rats like they they come up and then they bring the gems with them so we could potentially actually make one using that wait what what gems do you need for that it, it is blue i think right let's see glide glide uh yeah we need 25 blue gems and we don't have any but we can get them from earthquakes and we can also get them from the roll rats so maybe we could try and do that at some point let me actually just go ahead and grab some of this crystal because i know on here we're gonna need a lot of crystal to manage our suits all the time these are not giving me any crystal there we go oh i totally need to get rid of that stupid setting all right now we're getting good frames what we're getting good frames over here ish Something over there is like bugging me out. I don't know what it is. Is it the fire? I don't know what it is. All right, cool. Let's see. Um, let's grab out the metal. Is there anything else I can make? Probably a sickle would be a good idea. Can I make that yet? There we go. Uh, we'll make a climbing pick as well. And we should probably make a crossbow. That would be a good idea too. Um, so we can probably just ditch our bow completely at this point. Uh, so crossbow would cost another seven and we're going to need some more wood. All right, cool. So let's just go ahead and grab this and yeah, we'll just put that there. That's there for the moment. All righty. So we want some wood. Yeah, we're having a really good start so far. I'm happy with it. Definitely. See, like, Aberration is a tough map, but I think what they might have done a little while ago, and I think I noticed this before, but they used to have a lot more Ravagers around the place. Like, if you think that there's a lot of Ravagers now, there used to be, like, maybe twice, three times the amount. And look at this. I get, like, 30 more frames when I look behind me, but when I look over here, it drops, like, by at least 20 to 30. <laughs> what the hell is over there? Might be those giant crystals. But yeah, anyway, um, I think I, I think I noticed the fact that there are actually less Ravagers now. Um, I think we noticed that on the cluster. At least I feel like I might have. Alright, we should probably make a campfire at some point too. Um, let's grab that. And then 15 hide. Make ourselves a mortar. Bam. Uh, what was I looking for as well? A crossbow. Probably gonna need two of those. We're gonna need some more fiber though first. Let's go ahead and drop this down here. Get some fiber you can also use the sickle on these mushrooms which is great and we can use the sickle on the red ones to get the um I believe they give like biotoxin and stuff right just uh you know what let's just harvest this up and just get some of the protective mushrooms also that those are uh, acerbic mushrooms the kind of uh these looking ones um they look poisonous anyway but those are actually technically narco berries so quick little tip for you right there no that's the wrong one it's i think the ones that look like that come on give me some of them i don't know what they're called come on, give me some of those stupid mushrooms that i'm looking for keeps giving me the same ones i don't even understand hey there we go uh i grew up i don't know what that said Oh, Agaravik, whatever. The brown ones. Ooh. Alright, so I do believe we have protection from these mushrooms now, right? Yes, we do. Alright, so we can harvest these with a sickle and get just tons of different types of mushrooms. Definitely one of the best ways of getting mushrooms. Oh, hello, Raptor! Oh my god, I didn't see you! I did a roll attack! Roll attack? Roll defense? Whatever. Got away from him. I gotta... I gotta... 
get away from him here though let's see where is he i don't even see him aha you fool he fell he fell all the way down there all righty <laughs> we're safe for another night boys oh man stupid raptors all over the place uh so yeah we have um we have a ton of those mushrooms now which is great let's go ahead and dump those in there we have 10 of these already let's pull up meat uh oh this is about to spoil split all sweet uh which other stack is close to spoiling this one split all split all i'm um, obviously the point of doing that is so when you know they have a low timer and when one spoils that means they're all gonna spoil here we go so you're spoiling a whole stack as opposed to just one which is great it's what you want uh let's do this okay uh i guess we need more spoiled meat don't we Alrighty, so let's get ourselves a pike as well go ahead and chuck those in there pike crossbow we still have our arrows in here right yeah um yeah we're good we're doing really good man this is awesome all right let's uh oh you know what we could probably do probably make some spark powder because eventually we're gonna need to start making some gunpowder yeah we're having a really good start so far i'm really happy with this all right we're getting a little bit of metal from this rock too which is nice uh, these metal nodes probably won't respawn because I'm right beside it. Let's see. Wait, do we get... Uh, I don't think we actually get the blue crystals or the blue gems from earthquakes up here. Yeah, we don't. I don't believe so anyway. I look for the boxes. I don't see any boxes. Oh, it's this one? Oh, that was from me. <laughs> All right. I can go in there, bam, bunch of fiber, uh, flint, why not, bam, for mushrooms and stone. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, let's just drop that in there. So I guess we're, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Like what is the next step though? I, I guess probably trying to go for some sort of tame. How much is a roll rat saddle? Let's see. So it's going to cost 85 cementing paste and then the 45 green gems. That shouldn't be too hard to... Oh my god, that's a lot of metal. I forgot that they cost that much. Damn, dude. That is so expensive. I don't remember them costing that much. <laughs> All right. So we obviously have our work cut out for us here. Um, I don't know if there's any more metal nodes around this area. Although, you know what? Before we go out adventuring looking for them, we should probably go ahead and make a little bed here. Uh, let's see. Bam. Can we make that? We need thatch. All right, cool. Let's go get it from over here. Yeah, being kind of close to this cliffside could be a good idea. That way, uh, we're only getting attacked from, like, one side. Oh, there's a metal node over there. Hmm. Maybe what we could do is we could make some zip lines to get across. It could be a thing. Although, I can't get back, though, unless I go higher. We could, we could work something out. We could make that work. Uh, let's see. Let's grab these. Metal can go in here. Wood. Hatch. Oh, I wanted that um that bed, right? Let's grab an S plus one. Sweet. Um let's go ahead and just chuck this into here. We're gonna need some spark powder first though. I think I grabbed some flint, didn't I? Yes we did. Oh yeah, we got a good amount of flint here. Nice. Go ahead and do that. So maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll work on trying to get away over there. Maybe we, you know what? We should probably just invest in like a few little uh, wooden structures just to make a bridge. Um, I could probably jump that. You know what? Screw it. We're actually going to jump it. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, I, I didn't think I was going to make that. Oh, we're good. We're okay. <laughs> All right, where's that metal note? It was like over here somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, I think we're slightly safe for now. Maybe. We'll see. Let's just grab the metal and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I don't see anything bad. That's a horse over there. Cool. We could probably grow some carrots and get a horse. I don't really... I don't know if that's a good time investment right now, though. These give me food, don't they? They do not. Okay. 
Just eat a bunch of these then. Looks like that's decreasing my water. Oh, it totally is. What is happening? My water just went... Okay, whatever. I need food and water now. Does one mushroom increase food and then the other one increases water but they decrease the opposite stat maybe i don't know if that's a thing we'll see they're both like super low right now they're on like one and two that's weird all right so i should probably just cook some meat anyway all right watch these pro arc uh oh never mind then maybe where's a good place to jump to oh my god that's like a very oh we're just gonna do it oh no 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 oh we did it Yes, <laughs> I thought we were going to fall. <laughs> we made it. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to end off this video. Guys, um, I just want to mention that uh, I'm really happy to be back with Ultimate Arc here on Aberration, especially. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, hello, Stego up on the cliff. What the hell are you doing up there? I just want to mention that uh, as well that uh, not every video will be like this. I know people like the straight shot kind of footage, but obviously i just kind of wanted to do the first video like this we'll be back to kind of like cuts and everything in the next one just so we can get more done per video because i can't do every video like this i wouldn't get the thing done in 20 episodes at all but uh yeah if you guys did enjoy this one how did i not place down that bed first what is wrong with me <laughs> if you did enjoy this one go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and uh yeah me and bulbasaur we'll see you in the next one